have difficulties in reading scientific papers like on websites like Archive. What if I tell you that you can leverage ChatGPT to help you read those scientific papers and this is all completely using a free Google Chrome extension. So the Google Chrome extension is called Archive GPT. This is a Chromium based extension which means you can install it on Brave, Chrome and whatever Chromium browser that you are using. It's been used by 409 users. It's quite promising. All you have to do is go to this link which I will link into the YouTube description. Then click add to whatever the browser that you have and click add extension. Once you add the extension, it's going to install. First it's going to check and then it's going to install. After it installs, you are going to be given this page. What is in this page? This page actually gives you the prompt. If you want summarization, you can save this. This is the default prompt that you get. So it says, please summarize the paper by authors in concise sentence. Then list key insights, lessons learned from the paper. Next generate three to four questions that you would like to ask the authors about. So you can customize the prompt that you want to use while you are using this particular service. The second thing is, do you want to use this on any page or you want to manually trigger it? Like, do you want it to be automated when you go to archive or do you want to be manually triggered? I prefer manually triggered. Do you want light theme or dark theme? I prefer anything. That's fine. And um, the most important thing is, can you use ChatGPT's free version? Or if you have got OpenAI API key, then you can use the API key here. So you can prefer the model that you want and you can mention the API key here. But I'm going to stick to the free version of ChatGPT here. And then if you want to delete conversation, you can have it. So now I'm going to save this entire thing and I'm going to go and see this. So I've saved this. This extension is enabled right now. I'm going to go to archive and then refresh the page. Once I refresh the page, you can see that it has got a new tab here that says ask archive GPT to summarize. Once I click that, it is going to tell me that first thing that I have to do is I have to log in. So I'm going to log into my chat GPT, which is to bypass the Cloudflare check that they have got. After you have logged in, you can go click this icon and then check and then see if it actually shows you chat GPT inside. If you have not logged in or if you have some issues, you can also use this particular place where you have got the icon and you can try to log in from there. So if even that doesn't work, then you have to go to like, for example, in my browser in Brave, there is a settings called prevent sites from fingerprinting me based on my language preferences. I had to disable it. So depending upon your browser, there might be a small nuances that might not let you log in. But ultimately, if you successfully manage to log in, and then you click the icon and then you actually see that chat GPT is present inside this extension. Then all you have to do is go back to your um, archive and then search for it. Like you can, if you can refresh it, but then you can see here that it says the paper summary. So it says that paper introduces tool former, a language model trained to use external tools through API in a supervised way, allowing it to achieve improved performance across various downstream tasks. And then we have got some key insights and lessons and we have got some questions for the authors and it is still going on. And mind you that this is all happening with the free version of ChatGPT. So it's not that you're going to be charged for the token. But if you want to use OpenAI's API key, I already showed you how you can do it. But even then, like until ChatGPT is free or you have got the paid version of ChatGPT, you can literally use this and then read papers. And you also have the flexibility of changing the prompt like I showed you. You can you can change the prompt uh, here. Click the settings button and then you can change the prompt that will help you change the prompt based on whatever you want. For example, you don't want three, four questions. No, you can remove that. And then if you want like a summary, you can have that. If you want to know references, you can have that. So basically you can optimize the prompt in such a way that you can have everything from this particular document. The only thing that you need to remember in mind is I'm not going to be the person who takes everything that ChatGPT spits as the factual truth because ChatGPT is known for hallucination and then I don't want to take this and then literally let's say share it with my students or share it on social media that everybody would look at me like a dumb uh, idiot. So I want to be very clear. So always when you get any response from ChatGPT, make sure that those things exist, especially for example, when you see references, when you see books, when you see links, make sure that these things exist. But if you are not going to share it with somebody, it's just for your own educational purpose. I think this tool is extremely helpful in reading paper and you can go look for any paper. Like for example, you can search here any paper language 
uh, chain of thought there was a paper recently called chain of thought i was reading it let me search for the paper i search for the paper and uh, did we get anything chain of thought okay faithful chain of thought chain of thought reasoning i'm going to click the doc um, the link and then it says ask archive gpt to summarize i'm going to click on it and then it is going to summarize it for me and then give me let's see what it says and uh, we will uh, call it a day with that particular response so it takes a little bit of time primarily it takes a little bit of time because it's going to collect all the information from here and then send it to chat gpt because we are using the free version from there it is going to get the response back so it says this paper by this author and some others proposes a framework called faith of cot which is chain of thought to improve the accuracy of language models and complex reasoning task the framework de decomposes reasoning into two stages one is the translation from natural language to symbolic reasoning and the other one is the problem solving from the reasoning chain to answer so we recently covered chain of thought on this channel so i would uh, recommend you watch that if you want more effective results from chat gpt but otherwise you can see that this extension works amazingly well and this is completely free and then it works for any chromium based browser if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise i will link this extension in the youtube description please check it out happy programming